Okay, so now the part, this part series is we'll cover about fetching and watching and uploading. Yeah, so on this, we're already, we already finished this part in here, so we'll jump in. We don't need the HS health, but if you want to know more about command lines, about HubSpot, just put this one in your terminal. Um, you've done already the HS in it and HS authentication, account lease, and so forth. So I'm going to jump into the fetching. Now, basically, fetching means is there's already a description in here. So it takes files from your HubSpot account, this one, to your local computer. And the source should be the path from your designer tools, this one. And then the destination should be on your local computer. Okay. So to do that, you just need to go in again to the terminal. I'm going to use a bash for my terminal. And we'll type in HS, um, fetch, and then the account. And then the account name, which you can found on the HubSpot config that YML. This is the name that you put in when you use when you authenticate your HubSpot. Remember the HS in it. And then it says that you need to um, get the source, which is um, brings them to your local computer. So source would be. I can keep that as is because I don't have the source yet. And then you can, the destination, which would be the, okay, so here. Destination would be the HubSpot designer tool. So let's say I'm gonna grab this thank you thing in here. I'm gonna do is thank you there. And it should fetch the thank you folder. So I did not, if you notice, I only type in account and then the account name and the thank you because I don't have a folder that is thank you in it. I just wanted to put in the root directory, which that's why I leave an empty thing in there, um, empty empty thing in here. So again, but but still the the, the syntax would be um, HS fetch and then source which would be the path of your HubSpot tools and the destination of your local computer. If you want to be to put in the root directory, just leave it empty, just like what I did. Okay. Now we're you can see the slant design that Jason is already um downloaded here. Let's jump into the file manager HS fetch, by the way, is more on downloading the um, images, the PDF. So designer tools is more into the local web development. And I don't want to touch more about the files. This is more about downloading the images and the PDF on your file manager. Okay, go back to the documentation um, here. And then if you want to upload an, a file, let's say I, I'm going to create a um, hide a txt in here this is a test this is a test and then let's say i want to upload that so i already have a file in here it's hs upload account and the source which should be the designer tool and then destination path it's in the thank you and then the hi.txt. Okay. So hi.txt is in the. So I'm going to upload, put that. So upload account and then the thank you, which is in the HubSpot designer tools, but there's no hi.txt yet there. And we want to get this txt file from the local computer. So let's refresh to see it's already uploading. Um, okay, so let's refresh the designer tools and there should be, I would expect a file there. Oh, this is not what we want. Um, okay. Okay, what we can do, actually there's wrong with that. 
instead of targeting the file itself, what you can do is just target the folder. So thank you, thank you. And then it will upload the file, that updated file on it. So thank you, thank you. So source file is this, and then the destination is this. So let's refresh. And see, it's already a text.txt, okay? Perfect. Now I want to make changes. So to do that, we can use the um, watch thing. So to do that, again, you can use the watched um, this one. If you just want to watch a specific like file like txt, you can target the inner destination or target the whole folder itself. But again, if this folder has a lot of files, it would be better to target just the file itself. So um, let's say I wanna, okay. So HS, not remove, why this is removed? So, okay. So HHS watch, let's use the watch and it's hide.txt. Okay, thank you, thank you. So basically, we got, we want to watch the changes from thank you, thank you, thank you, hi, the txt, and update the changes to the designer tools under the hi folder. So let's run that. And you should receive a notification, um, like a note in here. The hs watch command no longer uploads file directory when started. So we need to make changes. So let's say um, this is a second test, or actually do not remove that, but we'll add a note. This is a second test. So I'm gonna save that, control F, S, and you can see here it's already updating or overriding the current version. So if you're gonna refresh the designer tools, you should able to see the new line, which is, hold on, okay, so each, okay, why don't, okay, let's try to use just the HSHS, just a thank you one. It should refresh. I mean, it should reflect the new changes. That's what I know. So anyway, I try to target just the folder itself. Third test. And we'll refresh that. Okay, so this is a test. A little bit bummer. I mean, there should have an option to just target the file itself, not just the like the folder. Um, I need to confirm that with HubSpot. I'm gonna put that note in my um question to ask to HubSpot. Yeah, I'm gonna put that note in my obsidian to confirm why you cannot target that thing. But yeah, so we're already on the fetching, watching, and uploading. Um, you can also use the, you can also use the remove if you want to. Highly, highly recommend to check the developer reference for more details. In a part three series, we'll start on creating a theme from scratch and creating or using the boilerplate in HubSpot. So again, if you have any question, let me know, comment down below. I was able to pass the HubSpot certificate, HubSpot development certificate. If you wanna also learn more and guide you how you can pass the examination and the practicum, use the link below for more information. Thank you and have a great day.